since you're in kindergarten, you just can't wait to graduate. And it felt so far away for such a long time, but now it's here and you're ready. Graduation season is an emotional time for any student. I'm super excited to be graduating, but there's still this feeling of sadness. But for survivors of the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School shooting, the celebratory event is laced with lingering pain. Going into graduation, we all have very mixed emotions, trying to be excited for ourselves and this accomplishment that we've worked so hard for, but also those who aren't able to share it with us who should have been able to. 20 of their former classmates will be missing from the ceremony. They were the first graders who were killed in the shooting almost 12 years ago, along with six educators. The shooting was kind of like our most core memory growing up. And I think that took away a lot of the joy that we could have experienced when we were six years old. Um, and I can't really remember many times before the shooting. So in that sense, it really did take over those really innocent times. And it really forced us to grow up so fast when we didn't need to. The shooter actually came into my classroom, so I had to like watch all my friends and teachers get killed, and I had to run for my life at six years old. Just growing up with having the fear and the what ifs of what could have happened if I stayed, because I was I was gonna be next, but there was a split second where a kid decided to say run, and we did, we ran, and just growing up with those memories of seeing your friends and teachers dying is not something anyone wants to live with no matter what age. The what ifs kind of spoil a lot of precious moments just because you always remember that they're not there. So even going to prom you think, well, what if they were my prom date? <laughs> or, you know, what if, what if they were my significant other or what if they were able to walk the stage with me and who would I still be friends with now? It causes even more pain than what we've already experienced. I do not want future kids of America to have to be scared in a classroom. The students have tried to transform their trauma into activism against gun violence. I knew I wanted to do something more since I was younger when the tragedy first happened. I wanted it to turn such a terrible thing into something more and that these children educators didn't die for nothing. It's a way to feel like you're doing something because we are. We're fighting for change and we're really not going to stop until we get it. Sandy Hook will always be with me and I will of course share my story. Even though we are missing like such a big chunk of our class, we are still graduating and we are we want to be those regular teenagers who walk across that stage that day and feel that like celebratory feeling in ourselves, knowing that we've come this far.